Design challenges are a great way to integrate academic content with real world skills. During these challenges, your learners will imagine, create, test, and reflect. Inspired by the 2018 Tech Challenge, Solve the Fall engages youth in creating a device that can protect an object during a drop. To get started, frame the problem and define the criteria and constraints for your learners. So here's the challenge. We're going to design and build a device that can survive a drop to deliver critical supplies. Your payload for this challenge is going to be a light-up bouncy ball. Think of ways to cushion, slow, or alter the landing to prevent the ball from lighting up by using soft, rigid, or flexible building materials. Next, allow your learners to brainstorm by giving them access to the materials so they can explore and begin envisioning a solution. After they've imagined a solution, they're now ready to begin building their designs. We're going to be spending the next 15 minutes building. As you build, make sure you are addressing the criteria and constraints of this challenge. Think about how you're going to build your design, ways it's going to fail, and how to improve on your design. We're going to be coming back together to share our solutions. Is everyone ready? Yes. Go for it. Be sure to have a rig ready for your learners to test their designs as they build. A ladder with a gate latch and string, or an adult, work well. So how are you going to attach that tissue paper to the ball? I'm going to use a rubber band. After the predetermined time you've given your learners to build, iterate, and record their solutions, bring them back together to share their progress. Have them explain their unique design and demonstrate how it works. So first, for our design, we decided to add some cushioning so then when it falls, it'll just be on, like, on a cushion. But it didn't work because it lit up. Then we decided to add a parachute so it slows down the fall. And um, when we did that, it still didn't work. So we finally added a lot more cushioning and it finally worked. To encourage further iteration, try putting constraints on the materials, such as having them build a device with only flexible or only rigid materials, or encourage learners to make their device more reliable. There are many ways you can approach design challenges to fit your learning setting, such as adjusting the build time, making design sharing more or less formal, and limiting the materials. Now, go see how many ways your learners can engineer a safe landing. Good luck. For more resources and lesson plans to use with your learners, go to the tech.org/bowers-institute.